What's up, everybody? Stuck here, joined as always by my Big Bets on Campus podcast co-host, Colin Wilson. Today, we are building a cross-game parlay for the college football ball games on Monday, January 2nd. Colin, why don't you get us started? Yeah, let's go to the ReliaQuest Bowl, where Mississippi State's taking on Illinois. We want to back the Bulldogs here. And in memory of Mike Leach, it's not just an emotional play here. It's an air raid offense. Might take a couple series for them to get in sync. But more importantly, they're going up against an Illinois defense that loses their biggest playmakers that are in the secondary. Namely, Devin Witherspoon is going to be in the NFL, and you're going to hear a lot about that guy's name for the next 10 years. But he won't be there. And also on the offensive side for Illinois, they'll be missing Chase Brown, their bell cow running back who has been everything to that offense. When you take all these pieces away from Illinois, there's not a lot left. Mississippi State to get us kicked off here in the parlay. Yeah, and the biggest weakness of this Mississippi State defense is their run defense. So the loss of Brown, their best running back, is is huge. He was so important to that offense. I'm going to go to the Cotton Bowl. Let's go with Tulane Moneyline against USC. This Tulane team has been a cash cow all season. Best team in the nation against the spread. I think they get another cover and another outright win here. I know they care. It's a really important game for their program. A lot of momentum. Not sure USC does. And plus, USC's not going to be fully healthy. I expect Caleb Williams to play, but we're not sure if he's fully healthy and will be fully mobile. Jordan Addison, one of the best receivers in the country, will miss. And then their offensive line will not be at full strength. They're going to miss their star center and their star guard. And they don't have a lot of depth on offensive line, and they're going to be reshuffling a lot of guys. So without, if Caleb Williams isn't fully mobile and the offensive line isn't at full strength, I don't know if USC can fully take advantage of that poor Tulane run defense, which also struggled with mobile quarterbacks. So if Williams isn't fully mobile, that's huge. And Tulane's secondary is excellent. They can match up on the back end with these USC receivers, Sands Addison. On the other side, Tajay Spears is going to run wild. This is a guy, since he's gotten healthy over his last seven games, he's averaged 9.8 yards per carry. Uh, he has just gone bananas, 125 yards on the ground in each of those, at least. Uh, he has gone wild. I think he should run wild here against the USC run defense that ranks the bottom 10 in the country in EPA per rush and rush success rate. You can run all over them. I expect Tulane to do so. And then Michael Pratt to hit enough explosive plays through the air. And then, oh yeah, turnover regression for USC, plus 22 turnover margin. The next highest is Duke at plus 14. Plus 22 is unbelievable. Don't be surprised if that regression monster comes out and finally catches up to USC and they lose a couple fumbles. Like there's a couple fluke picks, tipped picks. Give me the Tulane green wave here. Roll wave. Let's go. Mississippi State and Tulane on Monday for the cross game money line parlay on FanDuel. Also, make sure you subscribe to the Action Network YouTube channel. Good luck on all of your wagers and enjoy the rest of the bowls. Cheers. 